Hi, this video is to demonstrate how to install Visual Studio Community version for uh, IPC 1.4 and OOP 2.4.4 classes in Seneca College. Uh, first of all, open a browser and uh, go to www.visualstudio.com and over there you can uh, <coughs> click on the products menu. On top products, uh, Visual Studio Community. That's the one that you're going to click on. <coughs> Then download Visual Studio Community 2015. Then activates the download right here. And open that program. Click on Run. And wait for all the initialization and uh, setting to come up it's gonna take a while on these things but uh, just to make sure that uh, um, it's not gonna take too long in this video when it's too long I'm gonna pause it and come back so if in your case it takes 15 minutes to download something and you see it's like five seconds in this video that's the reason if where it takes long I pause so click on custom when this comes up uh, click on custom next now <coughs> if you would like to only use this for uh, IPC and OOP and OOP 345 uh, then you don't need to have anything it makes it more lightweighted otherwise just um, you can uncheck everything in here but you can just leave it as, as is so you have the, the web developer tools but make sure you uh, select Visual C++ that's the most important thing you must have Visual C++ selected fully and then after that you click on next so it shows you a summary and tells you how much it's needed on your hard drive and then click on install say yes to mark windows is uh, um, warning and uh, just wait uh, this is where it's going to take a while so well you have to wait for everything gets downloaded and uh, um, after that I'll show you how things are happening. Okay, now the set setup is completed. All we need to do is to click on launch. All right, so just going to minimize all these and this is the community uh, version of uh, Visual Studio that is uh, created now I'm just going to close it and uh, actually let's first create a new project so just to check and see if everything's okay with Visual C I'm going to create a new project this is a VM that's why it's very slow Okay, now that it's open, uh, I want to create a Visual C++, and as you see, it's Visual C++, it's there. Create a Wink32 console application. Uh, I'm going to check off the directory solution, browse, and go to, say, root of C, and select that folder. test Visual Studio and click OK application settings uncheck these two select empty project okay now that it's ready I'm gonna just right click on source files add a new item code C++ file program.c Yeah, I'm going to 
say printf testing one, two, three, new line, and control F5 to test and run it. Perfect, there we go. So it's working perfectly. Now, one more thing I'm going to do I'm going to close this and go to GitHub. GitHub.com slash say IPC one four four. Um, Sorry, Seneca dash IPC um, uh, 144 100. And let's say we go to Workshop 2. And I'm going to download zip. Open it up. Copy. And I'm going to paste it in root of C. Now I'm going to open it, go to InLab, and double click on oh, uh, InLab VCX project. That's what you're going to open it with. Uh, one thing you need to do with, uh, with uh, your um, file explorer is to make sure you go to View, Options, and then View again. And make sure this is unchecked, Hide Extensions for Known Types, to be able to see all the extensions so this is what you're going to cl uh, click on in lab VCX Proj. you double click on that one and it's going to open the um, it's going to ask you if it's visual uh, selector and you're going to say OK and that's going to open visual studio community 2015 and as you see it's compatible with what I put up, so, up, so, up, up there um, click on OK And there you go. This is the in lab for workshop two. And everything's set. You can just start programming over there. That's it. And the next step that I'm going to talk about will be how to install GitHub on your machine. Sorry, how to install Git on your machine and be able to pull the um, information uh, out of GitHub using Git instead of download zip.